Roman Church. And that's why it still remains and can't get away from the Roman Church, the term Roman. Okay, and he is the Antichrist. That neo evangelicalism denies and fights against us Christians to uphold that there's an Antichrist to come. No, this is the man of sin, the son of perdition. I won't go into all the titles, but the Pope says he never dies for a start, and that he is the Holy Father. There's only God who is the Holy Father. Jesus Christ is the only head of the church. The Pope says he's the head of the church. Hmm? And he's now apparently, well he is, infallible. Infallible. The Holy Spirit is infallible. What the Holy Spirit speaks is infallible. And it doesn't matter if it's ex cathedra. He's taken as infallible. His words dropped from his mouth as being infallible. Outside of his church, the Roman Imperial Church, there is no salvation, he says. No, that's again against Christ, directly against Jesus Christ. Because the Church of Jesus Christ... Outside of the Church of Jesus Christ, the spiritual church, there is no salvation. Because all within that church make up that church. As simple as that. As simple as that. He is the Antichrist. He is the direct opponent of Jesus Christ. God Almighty. The Holy Spirit. And Christians. This is why they burn, have burnt Christians, tortured Christians, thrown Christians over hills. Hmm? Massacred by the sword, whole villages. And that's how it is, and that's how it'll always be. And that Roman Imperial Church, with its Pope, wishes to gain again the control of countries but it shall never happen the blow has been struck by the reformation a deadly blow indeed amen <laughs>